Okay, we're going to show you how to control uh, white flies, aphids, and uh, spiders inside your greenhouse. And this also is the uh, same information you'd use for your outdoor garden uh, using a succosidal soap. Uh, mixing the soap and applying it uh, correctly is what will allow you to get the results um, that you're looking for. And that's as much control as you can possibly get. I don't know if you can see, right there is one little white fly. They're really tiny. So anyway, we'll show you how to mix this um, solution. We have a really bad problem with white flies in this area. Um, we're in southern Arizona. We're about 25 miles northwest of Tucson, and there's a lot of cotton fields in this area. And they heavily spray the cotton fields with pesticides, but the white flies are kind of immune to their pesticides. So what it does is it kills all their uh, predators, natural predators, and allows the white flies to just take over. And we've been dealing with the white flies uh, in this area for about 20 years. And we've had very limited success. They usually destroy our crops pretty quick until we finally got a handle on it, and that was with this insecticidal soap. And it's not so much the soap in itself, it's also the correct way you have to apply it to achieve the right results. And that's why we want to make this video for you. What you want to do is you want to get one of these uh, air pump type sprayers. I got this one from Harbor Freight. It's only like $12. Uh, it's been very reliable and it holds a lot of good pressure and it seems to atomize uh, the spray really good. And that's part of the key to uh, effective spray. Here's a product that we'll be using today. This is our uh, Sun Grown Soaps uh, Organic Insecticidal uh, Soap. And the way you mix this is you put in about two tablespoons for each gallon. So we're going to mix up about a gallon here. It's not rocket science, it doesn't have to be exactly, uh, absolutely uh, perfect in your measuring. So about two seconds worth of spray and uh, pouring it in there is about two tablespoons. And then you want to fill this up kind of slowly. Uh, you don't want to make any suds down in there. Um, you really want to keep that from sudsing up. So like I said, it's about one gallon. You put in about uh, roughly two tablespoons of the soap. That's about a gallon. You want to set it to where it very fine mist. Okay, that should work. Okay, when you go to spray, basically what you want to do is you want to do a really nice mist over everything. Kind of trap the bugs. The idea is to get this real fine mist to hit the bugs. What that does is puts them into a little bubble, and when that bubble dries, it will dry the bug out. After you spray the top like that really good, come back and hit underneath. Getting into screen everywhere. You can see some of the white flies trying to fly up. Make sure you keep it really pressurized. Let's 
some mint growing here and uh, they like to hide in the mint. They don't really hurt the mint. They're not really interested in it except for hiding. But they do just kind of <coughs> get them all over. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't inhale too much of that mist. Because it does have some uh, pepper in it. And it's a little bit like a pepper spray. It will make you cough a little bit, but it's pretty harmless. So anyway, get your plants like this. Get up underneath real good where they like to hide in the bottom parts of the leaves. That real fine mist going on there. And then up underneath. You can actually even uh, spray this even right up to harvest time uh, since it's just a soap and basically you just rinse it off really good. After I've uh, sprayed the plants down really good, usually the next day I'll go and rinse it off with the hose and uh, you're still going to see white flies flying around. The difference here though is with, compared to like what a pesticide you'd be thinking would be doing is you will come back and you will see some white flies flying around the next day and you'll think, well, it's not very effective because I still see them. The difference is when we do no control on the white flies at all, eventually they get up underneath the, the leaves here and they suck out all the juice in the, in the leaf and uh, they eventually kill the plant that way. What this spray does is it disrupts part of that cycle and they never seem to really get around to taking all the juice out of the plants. Um, so if you think that it's not being effective because you're still seeing white flies, you're thinking in terms of how a pesticide would work where you'd eliminate and kill the bugs right off. Basically what we're doing is just completely interrupting that cycle. And now if you can see this down here, that little um, black spot down there, that is um, it's, it's a soot mold. And there was a leaf that was laying over there and the white flies had gotten underneath that like that. And then they create... Uh, as part of their waste, they create this mold starts growing on it. When that mold is present like that, it puts out a scent and it attracts more and more of the white flies. So usually a good idea to this stuff will work. You spray that on there and then uh, get it out of there, clean it off as best you can uh, so you don't have the odors. If it's on your plants, just go ahead and uh, remove that leaf. Choose it the best way deal with it. So again, really what you want to do on your plants is you want to create that nice mist. Finer the mist, the better. If you notice that it's not spraying out uh, a real fine mist, you want to go back down, put a little more air into the sprayer. Like I said, get a really good mist going. Kind of just trap them right in. You'll see some of them flying off and they're getting hit with the mist. And what you want to do is you want to hit that for the first week every single day. Completely disrupt that cycle. And then taper off every other day. Um, as you can see, that spraying right there did very little I don't know if you can see inside this jug, but it barely even used any at all. So we're still close to the gallon mark. So it will go a long ways. One of those bottles will make about 30 gallons. And 30 gallons will do, you know, hundreds and hundreds of sprays. So you're not going to be going through a whole lot of expensive uh, soap that way uh, compared to, like, chemicals. But really what you want to do is you just want to disrupt that life cycle. And that's basically what this does. It kills off enough of them that you won't have any uh, problems with it actually killing the plants. We've never been able to grow broccoli this good for some time because the uh, white flies will pretty much destroy them before anything gets going. You can see right there a little flower starting on the broccoli. And again, just mist it really good underneath and soak the leaves top and bottom absolutely everywhere. 
And like I said, this will control aphids, white flies, and those little spiders that put little tiny little webs and suck the juice out of the plants, the same as the white flies and aphids do. And you can see the white flies are getting a little disturbed everywhere. They're flying around. Hit them. They're like hiding inside this peppermint. And this oregano. And sometimes I've come back a few hours later after it's dried, hit it again. And any white flies that are active, we're gonna we're gonna kill them that way. Um, it's kind of good every couple of days to uh, rinse your plants off so you don't get too much of a buildup of the soap. But even soap at five or six times the concentrated uh, levels uh, for mixing that's recommended, it still won't hurt the plants. We've never seen any damage whatsoever on our plants. The plants look nice and healthy. So anyway, that's the end of this video. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just email us the link. Thanks.